Parcero, 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 parceros, parceros. Welcome to the Parceros Take episode 32 featuring Andy de Osa. Hey. Parceros, thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is a space for all things national team related. Colombia, you already know the vibes. Uh, we got Parcero Danny, Parcero Ron speaking to you guys right now. Andy de Osa, like I said, today episode jam-packed with action. It's been a minute <laughs> since we last connected. I always say the same thing, but... You know, we got um, some a couple friendlies coming up. Uh, so we're going to be analyzing the friendlies, the call-ups. The call-ups, man. We got jerseys, which I thought Andy was wearing the new away kit, but it turns out to be I mean, Ambigao. No. He, he kind of he but, off on that But one. I'm pretty sure he, like, he knows about the new one, right? We'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. Eh, getting score predictions, and then, ya, eso es todo. Parchémonos, parceros. Parchémonos. You guys be active on the chat. Like and subscribe. You know, like, this part is about you guys. When you guys get involved, it's just fun, bro. Y'all bring the vibes, too. Que mal, Andy Alanos. How's everything in L.A., bro? Parceros, parceros. Bien no. Happy to be back. I almost didn't make it. Traffic over here is a little crazy. Danny was getting nervous. He was missing me. He's blowing up my phone. But you know what? We here, man. We made it on time. That's all that matters. And we're ready to get it rocking again. <laughs> Yo, Danny already looks like he wasn't happy with the call-ups. But oh, no, MPS, no, MPS. We have, I didn't say nothing. I didn't even say we nothing. To talk about before we even get Diego, into the call-ups. Sí, sí, Diego, pero vamos a hablar, vamos a hablar. Stay no, tuned, sure. Diego. I want to see your to, thoughts. I might surprise you. Shout out to everyone in the chat. Jay, Nicolas Salazar, Diego Rodriguez. Yeah. Muchachos, thank you for tuning in. Yo, hey. yo, Jay was mad early, bro. Jay, Jay almost got here before Andy, bro. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I can be that. I can be that. See, I can be that. But uh, ah, we got stuff to talk about before we get into the the call ups and, and the friendlies, bro. We have new kits, crazy. Yeah. How, what you think about the what you think about the kits, Andy? I don't like them, man. I don't like them. I think how's the fit? How's the fit? I I, I mean, I can't tell you the behind the scenes and the Adidas and and how how it rocks, but. <laughs> Nah, the black, the black, the black and orange one looks like a like a training kit. I feel like they've been selling that shirt for years, bro. I don't know. It's just something about it. And I like those colors. I literally have them on right now, but it's just it doesn't do it for me. The, the yellow one, I don't know. Like it felt short for me. I don't know. I just I, I'm not a fan. You're not but a I fan, think, bro. But you look good in it. You look good in the new kit, bro. Yeah, I'll bro. I feel like anyway, the, the right. yellow one, right? Like- <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my boy Andy modeling for Adidas now. Yo, bro, killing that, job, bro. <laughs> Keep it up, bro. It, look it, it looks nice and fit. It looks, it, yeah, it looks bro. fitted. It looks why, nice why did we go to orange, bro? Like I thought our color was red, man. It's like it's like the yellow's not even right, and the orange. Is, I don't know, man. No, but, but they've been doing the orange. They've been doing the orange accent for like a minute. They've been trying to bring it, you know, on the like training i mean you know the blue one from world uh 2018 like world cup they've been trying to kind of like sneak it in for a minute um for me i gotta see it in person you know what i mean because every time i say i don't like a jersey and like hey i'm not feeling it i see it in person and it grows on me so i actually gotta see the fit i i'm, I'm still on the side about the orange i've kind of seen it a while i like black jerseys or darker jersey is it black it's black jersey, right? It's black. It's black, black and yeah. orange. So I got I gotta see it in person, bro. I'm I'm usually a thumbs up on the on the black jersey. So um, Sa- as of yeah. right now, it's like vamos a ver. Also, another vamos note: the the Adidas logo on the left is a lot bigger than uh, in previous years. So that is very true. Um, I think they they, they they went to that, they switched over to orange because the new crest is orange. They switched from like the red to to orange, like in the it is cool. This was uh, actually the rumor jersey. Uh, yeah, it looks a lot like the 2001 when we went Copa America with. Um, I like that one a lot better than the other one, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Shout out to that design, bro. I just think it's like, I I, I know they try and Adidas sometimes gets a little crazy, but there's just something about the, the, the two that they put out that just doesn't, I don't know. I'm not feeling them too much, man. Diego says, yeah, the New Jersey's are pretty weak. The yellow one is okay, but the black and orange Adidas one, Adidas, they even try. Oh, it looks like a training shirt, bro. I don't know. I, I I'm, I'm popular opinion. I'm, like, I, I really like that jersey. And shout out to, <clears throat> you know, this uh, company that's going to send us some jerseys. I specifically uh-huh. asked for the weight kit. I didn't even care about the home kit. I just want the the black and orange, to be honest. Yeah, bro, we're in the works. We're in the works of doing, of seeing them in person, so. Keep a lookout for that. Keep a lookout for that. Jay says home kit is too bright. 
I don't know how to explain it. Maybe the orange in much blue the one is actually tough. I won't lie. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. I think the yellow one, are we wearing, like, are they wearing blue shorts with that? Because, like, le hace falta la That's a question. That's a question. How the socks going to look? How are the shorts going to look? I mean. The whole kit itself, yeah. All I know is that Luis Diaz is going to look really good in July lifting that trophy in Miami in that jersey. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I hope so. I, just put it out I hope so. I hope so, and I hope we beat Argentina. Can you imagine in PK too? Come on, I just got a dream. You got a dream, bro. We got a dream. We got a dream. Que Pero bueno. Que sí, que sea lo que Dios quiera. Let's get into uh, the the meat of things. Pause. Um, no diddy. Collops. <laughs> I saw that today. Collops. Pause. We have Pause, no diddy. We have collops. Uh, Obviously, we're going to be playing against Spain and Romania against Spain in England and uh, Romania. Where are we playing Romania? In Spain, I believe. Estadio Civitas Metropolitano. Danny, Madrid. take it away. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, Diego, yo, Diego got jokes today. Now Ron's going to do this one just for that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, wait, wait, on fire today. Let's get into the call-ups. <clears throat> Porteros. Montero, Vargas, Ospina. Don't say that. Don't say that. In the back, Munoz, Arias, Lucumí, Cuesta, Mina, who's replaced. Christian Borja and Mojica. In the middle, for midfielders, we have Kevin Castaño, eh, perdón, Castaño, Lerma, Portilla, Portilla, Rios, Carrascal, Quintero, James, Carrascal, Quintero, Asmilla, James. Bro. That, that sounds nice, bro. I like Crazy. that lineup right there. Uh, that's, that's nice. Wingers, John Arias, uh, Poveda, you know, who's replaced, Sinistera, oh, who's also replaced, Lucho, Borre, Cordova, Casierra. A couple thoughts. surprises. Initials. A couple, yeah. you know, positive points in that call-up list. Um, I mean, I we should to... talk about the usual. We, we already know. That's why we didn't want to – we waited for the pod because we knew something was going to happen. We knew players were going to – you know, come out injured. But, of course, Jerry Mina replaced by Juan David Cabal, who's playing well in, in Hellas Verona. He actually plays left back over there. Uh, tall, solid pickup. Um, Sinisterra, he was replaced by uh, Andres Gomez, right? Molestias físicas de Sinisterra, which sucks, man. He hasn't been able to get going with, with the squad, man. Uh, and I feel like he's he's a solid... He's a solid player, man. He could be one of those pillars on the right side, that other side of Lucho. Um, and we've been saying that for, like, the past year. Man, it sucks. He just keeps getting recarga tras recarga, bro. Um, Ian Poveda, which I really wanted to see after watching him in that uh, game against Venezuela, that friendly in Miami. He, he did some work. He's been doing work over there, replaced by Gustavo Puerta, which hasn't playing a lot of – hasn't gained a lot of playing time. Still excited to see the, you know, ex U twenty captain. Yeah, excited to see his, his progression. I'm really happy for mm-hmm. him. Um, I mean, he's in a solid team, bro. I mean, that team is. Yeah, they're flying right now in the Bundesliga. First place, yeah, obviously. Xavi Alonso is killing it. Uh, former midfielder himself, so Puertas had a lot to learn in the last couple yeah. of months in his time at, at Leverkusen. Um, yeah, and finally, overall, Christian, Christian oh, Borja, though. Not done. Christian Borja was the last one left back. Um, unfortunately, because him and my child were kind of the one-two combo, both injuries, um, him being replaced by Junior's left back, Ariel Fuentes. Overall, um, what, what do you guys think? Is this a uh, is this good? Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but overall, is this like is this the best talent we have at our disposition? I wouldn't say it's the best talent we have. I think it's a good representation of the talent that Colombia has, though. I think it's a a pretty solid team sheet. I still think there's definitely some parts that could be a little sharper and maybe some players that should have been there, which we'll talk about, of course. But overall, I think in terms of experience, in terms of getting some newer players in the fold as well, it's a pretty solid mixture of players. And especially because, I mean, I was just listening to the Spain coach and he's like, we don't we don't play friendlies like that doesn't exist for us. They're all like real games, but for the type of games that they are, it's like a high level competition 
without too much at stake, but it's a good test. It's a good stage for some of these players to try to, you know, prove themselves. But that said, we're probably going to see the same starting 11 that we've been seeing for a while. So we'll see how much that changes around. But hopefully there, hopefully there is a little bit of mixture because this is not qualifiers where like you're risking, you need three points here and there. So hopefully this is a little bit of a mixture to see what some of these players have to offer. What's your initial thoughts on, on the lineup, Ronald? Ronald Pena. On, the, on the, Ronald. Ronald Pena. On the on the call ups, where the hell is Kevin Mier? <laughs> we say Jay. I mean, bro, the best keeper, well, the most informed keeper in in Liga MX. You know, he's hey, I, apparently David Ospina belongs here. All right, that last time I said something about Ospina, I got killed. It was probably that Diego Rodriguez too. I know what I'm saying Diego's probably Ospina. Diego's yeah, been coming enough. at me. Diego, I, I know Diego went to Ospina there, but I mean. Look, you brought up Ospina, Mier, Mier gets snubbed. What, and he's been playing well in, for Cruz Azul, making really good saves. I, I know y'all saw that 1v1 against Chicharrito. I don't know it's Chicharrito, <laughs> but, st- but still, like, hey, Mier should, I feel like this, if you bring in Gustavo, Gustavo Puerta, you got to bring in Mier, a Mier, bro. Yeah, and we've been Especially calling since, his name for, for a minute, man. For like. A minute. If, from his time in Nacional, where he's doing really well, to his rumors, uh, to his transfer to to River Plate, that he eventually went to Cruz Azul. Like he's been slowly and steadily uh, progressing, yeah. and right now he's best keeper in Liga MX. So it's crazy that see you know David Spina after a long ass injury, getting that place ahead of Kevin Mier. Um, yeah, and this is this is not bagging Vargas or Montero because at the end of the day, Montero showed out against Ecuador when we needed him. So. It's one of those things that, hey, I see close, hay processos that you kind of got to turn the page. And I feel like we've noticed with Peckerman and Lorenzo, they don't like to, they tend to not turn the page on some of these players. Hmm. It's like they called us, you know, we're like, yo, you want to go on a vacation real quick, bro? Like, Max. I got you some tickets, like, pull up. Man, real, he, you close. No, he doesn't have any business on that team right now. Like, it's just Jacek yeah. Cumplido. And, and like you guys are saying, and, I, and I've talked about him yet before. But he is a good keeper, man, and like he deserves to, he deserves to get that that look and that shine, especially because like you're like you mentioned, like obviously Vargas has been really good recently for Colombia. Montero is, is a solid keeper as well, but you know I think somebody said in the chat like one of the teams that has their you know one of their best goalies in the in the pool and not even really giving him a look right now, which is just kind of crazy for Colombia to be overlooking yet. So that is interesting. Is it for the Copa? I don't mind Gospina being in team as a locker room guy. The third string goalies don't play anyway. For a tournament, I, I don't mind it either. I like that. I, I think I've said that before as well. For a tournament, I don't mind somebody that has that experience that's there that a lot of the guys probably look up to or have a good, relation, a good relationship with. That being said, if you're if that's coming at the expense of somebody that could actually have a, a future for Colombia, that's where you have to kind of draw the line and yeah. have a distinction because, sure, maybe it's just Copa America coming up soon, but then does that linger on some more qualifying cycles? Like, how does that pan out? Because now you're turning your back completely on somebody who – as a younger player, you might think like, "Ah, right, man, like, why am I not getting this attention?" And I'm sure there's we could go position by position on the team, and there's a player or two we could think of that feel that same way right now with certain players that are getting looks and others are not. So it's tricky because you're right; it's a goalie. Like you usually know who's probably going to be your starting goalie. That's the position you don't really ever kind of think about too much. But I mean, when you have somebody that's informed, there's no need for him not to to get a look. Yeah, especially Camilo Vargas is te- technically your. Uh, your guy, he just turned 35. He is your veteran guy, you know. It's important to give those younger guys a, a chance. Any other players that you guys think got uh, snubbed? What, what, uh, not that I get snubbed, but to my surprise, that how many attacking midf- midfielders we have. I think Nestor Lorenzo is really gonna see who's gonna earn their spot in the Copa America roster. With these, I, I really hope, man. I really because hope, bro. We got. <laughs> Carrascal, Juanfer, James, y Asprilla, marica. Yo, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, that's yo, crazy. That's you, crazy but you know, you, you know, he's just gonna play James, bro. Right. Like Carrascal's gonna be on the bench. He's just gonna play James. He's gonna put in what Jasset on the right for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm just playing, but I don't know. No, but yeah, that, I mean, that's a lot of firepower. Like Quintero's back, bro. Quintero coming off a free kick goal. Like when I know y'all saw it, like that thing is disgusting. 
No, yeah, man. I'm excited to see. Hopefully, he 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 uses them. You know what I mean? I want to see Carrascal there. I want to see Jasset as a winger. Um, Arias is back. You know what I mean? John Arias, he's been... That, is he going to bingo if he joins right now, bro? Like, he he's, he's another guy, see, that he snuck into that starting 11 that if he, he's not rated high as compared to like Quintero or, or the Hamas as far as like name wise, but Arias is just as important. So yeah, it's a lot. I'm intrigued to see how he positions the team. Um, but before we go into that, there's nobody else that you guys think got snubbed or anything like oh, if, if sure. up top sure. on the right defense. You guys, you guys should know this. You guys are the resident um, Argentinos, man. Like I asked last episode, what happened when we get out of Angel Borja? And then every time I look, He's scoring a goal. Yeah, bro. This playing. man, I'm like, is and I'm like, he's locked in right now. Like, I don't understand. He's, he's locked, locked in. Locked in. That. That's like the first one that comes to mind off rip, especially in a position that Colombia needs to have somebody that's scoring goals. And it's not so much like we've talked about. This is the thing with Colombia. We've talked about this over the years. But you have players playing really well in their club teams. Then they put the national team jersey on, and it's a little bit of a change because Borja has had his chances and hasn't looked great. But that doesn't mean you automatically cycle him out. And that's that's a guy, him and the same thing. Uh, Richard just said it, man. Cucho, I don't understand what else Cucho needs to do in MLS to to get a look to to, ba right. to basically be part of this of this cycle because he's probably oh, he's in the scoring. best he's been in like for his career over over you know for a while. And I'm not just saying this just this season. Like obviously they're coming off MLS Cup, but I think what he's doing in MLS is showing his versatility of not just being a goal scorer. And for a team like Colombia, where We've talked about how James sometimes gets put in a position that makes the dynamic of the offense a little different. I feel like Cucho could give them what they need because he's not just, oh, just I need the box. I need the, uh, the ball in the box and I'm going to score. He could give you a little bit of that. I'm going to come back and play a little bit with the midfield and kind of change that dynamic. And I feel like he's a perfect player for what this team needs. And for some reason, he's just not in the in the system. I don't know why. He's a better agent. That's why. <laughs> Cucho. Cucho. Borja. I feel like Jair Duran is one of those players that you can kind of sprinkle in as well. Um, scored in the Europa League. Nice little banger. Um, but I'm intrigued to see Casiera in, in Cordoba, bro. In Russia, they don't stop scoring. But they don't get playing time um, for Colombia. Does Lester Lorenzo continue to play Borre at the right? That's another question. That's another question. Find out tomorrow. We'll find uh, out tomorrow yes. on the next episode. No, nah, but speaking of Borre, went to Internacional. They're hyped about him, bro. Oh there. yeah. So like 2000 fans showed up to the airport to, to welcome him. But uh Oh, I no, mean there are a bunch of like a lot of people are, are calling for for Duban as well. Honestly, I'm giving yeah. Duban a shot. It's a different Ooh. team than Rela and Kato. Bro, he yo, he's scoring goals. He's scoring goals up there. He's going. He's going Ay, bro. Es que so, bro, so <laughs> oh, bro. Eso like, bro. I don't know if I can Eso forget. Yeah. <laughs> But it wasn't just him, bro. Everyone was missing shots. Was Borja pinnacle. missed shots. That was the pinnacle of... Yeah. That was yo, the... everyone missed shots over there. And, yo, the bro, in that same manner that Duan, Duan missed that shot, yo, Spina had a few, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that okay. Peru. I feel like after that, no, what's it called? Okay, well, like, after that, that was Spina, Peru, first front post, he should have gotten next out, too. The, Yo, the way you gotta talk about doing. I've never felt that way in my life. I don't want to feel that way ever again. <laughs> hey, bro, it's a beauty, bro. It's a beauty. I mean, no, for you young guys, no for you young guys, no. no, for you young guys, you guys don't remember that age where, where Colombia didn't play a World Cup from 98 to 2014. Like, you guys were just, you guys remember soccer at 2014, bro. Like, that's that's no. the youngest. That's the youngest. They don't know. Man, I, All, all I want is Colombia to win something in my lifetime, bro. Con ayuda de Dios. Diego, Diego, no, yo, pa. Vamos bien, vamos bien. No, but for real, yeah. I mean, technically, this is, we have a golden generation. There's no reason why, like, look at the players that we have everywhere. Like, even even in a 4-3-3, whatever you want to, 4-2-3-1, whatever you want to call it, like, man, like, we have the ability to, to man up against everyone. It's a matter, like I've always been saying, it's a coach's thing. It's not even about Hamas. I like Hamas, bro. It's the way you use him and how it affects the rest of the team, bro. Like, even Hamas. Unfortunately, like, since last time we spoke, Hamas didn't have a team, and now he has another team. And that's another question, bro. Like, y'all want leaders on this selection. 
That's what scares me a lot too, bro. Like giving Hamid the keys to me, Gatos, y'all know what happened with Gatos, bro. And I think Hamid's had a lot to do with it. There were no repercussions. We didn't make it to the World Cup. Now we give Hamid the keys. We continue to give Hamid the keys to the selection. Yeah, I'm all right with that. You know, clearly I'm fine with that, but I'm all right with it because I think he's shown that the team, the team, the team could play around him. Like the team is not, <laughs> you're saying about the the Borre thing, which we've talked about the past, I don't know how many episodes. But the team could play around him as a team. Obviously, they could. I, I agree. If they haven't, if they haven't shown that, then I don't think that we would get that. But for me, it's more so, once again, like you mentioned, and it's a coaching thing because how long have we been talking about the amount of talent that Colombia has in comparison? This is obviously not against the South American South American opposition, but when we play these qualifiers, we're like, look at these teams on paper and look how much transition some of these teams have had to go through from the older generations to the younger generations and kind of slipped up a little bit where Colombia just is kind of like, yo, they've had this talent level for a good, a good amount of years now. And players that back then were saying, you know, these were players, amazing players that were in a good form that have gone into their prime. Like, we got one of the best players in the world on our team right now, bro. So it's like there's certain things that just are not adding oh, up. Balling. Back to the coaching. Like, yo, you have to figure out what's the best way to get the most out of, out of this team, man. And that's all on coaching, bro. Because the talent's there. Talent, talent's always there. You're talking about Lucha, right? I thought you were yeah, talking yeah, about Quintero, yeah. bro. <laughs> hey, man. Quintero's my hey, boy. Quint nah, Lucha. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, 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 there's so much magic. Crazy. De Lambigueto. I think James knows this is Lucho's team now. He's comfortable not being the main guy people look at. Yeah, that's fine. That's oh, fine. no. At the, the day, at the end of the day, I think James, and I've said this too, I think James has gone through a maturity process and a humbling that he that he needed because everything was so up and down for him. But I think when he puts that Colombia shirt on, bro, it's different. And whatever he does when he's outside of La Selección is one thing. When he puts that Colombia shirt on, bro, he's a different person. And I think his passion, it translates. Like, I think, once again, I think the players see that in him. And I'm like, yo, this is a dude that gives everything for La Selección. That's why I think it works with Colombia because the teammates know, like Lucha knows and the Quinteros know. And even the younger guys are like, oh, this is a to them probably a legend. They're looking up at a guy like, yo, this guy had one of the best World Cups that anybody has ever seen. So for that, it, it is what it is. But when he's on, when he's not with Colombia and he's doing his diva act and he's on Instagram doing whatever he's doing, I don't like that's a whole different <laughs> ballgame. But I'm telling you, man, I haven't seen James no le niega una gota sobre esa camisa de Colombia para if you have to say that, bro. Yeah, I don't think we're in, we have the luxury or, or in a position to question Hamas when he puts that shirt on. No, but I feel like we have we're in the position to question Nessa Lorenzo, bro. Because like like Diego said, Hamas knows this is Lucha's team. I still don't know if Nessa Lorenzo like has let go of, of Hamas as the, the primary source, and the reason being Borre on the right, bro. Like he still has yet to kind of fix that. And until then, I'm gonna keep pounding it. Because he only fixed it against uh, Brazil. That's the only, and after that, he went straight back to it. But with that being said, going into these qualifiers, what are you guys expecting from Colombia? What do you guys want to see? Like friendlies? Um, yes. You guys want to see goals? You guys want to see uh, winning? Like, what? What's your expectation going into um, Yo, Colombia? These upcoming if there friendlies? was a World Cup of friendlies, bro, Colombia would be champion. Your <laughs> past year, bro. Like, well, I mean, we used to play against Jordania, Guatemala. Like, come on, bro. Like, nah, no it, disrespect to them, but Beckham I mean, was the he was he was the friendly king, bro. Let's be honest. Um, I don't know how many times we play Honduras. No, nah, we're we're gonna in Australia, bro. Like, this is gonna be crazy. We're gonna see Juan Ferry y James like ball out. Bro, that'd be insane, uh, bro. A great match from uh, from Colombia. Colombia's coming coming in with the same intensity as Spain, as Andy mentioned. Uh, Spain doesn't play friendlies, as, quote, uh, quote unquote. The coach, what he said. Um, Nestor Lorenzo said that you know this is this is going to be a really intense match, and th there's um zero uh, margin for error, and this is they're going to treat this as like an official match. So I, I feel it's it's going to be really intense. Um, it's going to be played in London, so you know, we already know like. Hello, Columbia's out there. Not the, my cousin's probably going to be out there. So, shout out to the cousin. I, to the cousin. I think it's going to be one. It's going to be a memorable one, for sure. And the intensity and the crowd. Like I'm, I'm actually really excited for for tomorrow. Yeah, it's not. It's 
I mean, when you think about what's at stake, not in that game or in these games, but the Copa America coming around very quickly, like you have to have a good showing because it's a, it's almost like a, a perception thing for Colombia right now. I was like, how are they going to come into this tournament? This is what people are going to look at. I mean, obviously the qualifying table for the World Cup is what it is right now at the moment. And people are going to say, okay, Brazil's in this place, Uruguay's in this place, but like we're going to see tangible things that we could take out of this game and say, okay, this is how Colombia looked in these last two matches. So for Colombia, it's once again, it's not nothing friendly about it either. It's like, come out and show what we have and put your best foot forward. So for that same reason, I don't think we're going to see too much rotation. I personally would like to see rotation because you have to decide going into Copa America, what that best roster looks like. If we're going to Copa America, having this same conversation about maybe this guy was left out, this guy, like that's, that's not good. That we have to like Colombia has to figure that out in the short term pretty quickly here. Uh, but yeah, they need to show they need to show some quality, man. I think that's what I want to see. I don't want to see a zero zero. Like if if it's a, a scoreless game and and things are getting tricky, don't try to close it out, man. Go out there and try to find a goal. Like go out there and attack. Because at the end of the day, the result per se doesn't matter. But I think this is a lot more opposite of what the qualifiers like. The the game, the play, the quality matters a lot more than the result. Whereas in qualifiers, like you can get a zero zero or one one and take a point out of a road game. This is like, yo, we got to show something. So hopefully, man, hopefully they show out and, and we're talking about some fun uh, action and some fun goals rather than just like, all right, they tied and we're going on to the next one. Yeah, they can rotate against Romania, man. Like this game, they got to come out full fours, guns blazing. I want to see all four tens on the field at the same time to close the game out if we're losing. Like I want to see some magic, man. I want to see Lucho take on people, have that same confidence he has at Liverpool. Uh, maybe better luck finishing, though. Because, you know, he needs to work on that. <laughs> no, but I agree. I think this is, a, like, especially the Spain, this is the moment that you go up as, as an elite and you show how you can play. Not the long ball, not the whatever, fine, like, boom, boom, up across that hits somebody that lands in front of Mateo Zuribe and, it, and it's a goal. No, like, I, I want to see the boys play. I want to see balance. How, against Spain, we got to have balance on all four lines. I'll, I'll, yeah, well, you know, you know I mean, the goalie's in line, too. But, uh, yeah, how, how is our defense looking? You know, our, our two, hopefully our, our two starting center backs, how are they going to look against against a, uh, a, a top team like Spain? Um, we don't have our left backs are put, we're prone on, on the left side. How are they going to react? The right side, I feel like Danny got that on lock. Just someone scared. I already had side over there. So we, how do they react in the middle? Lerma Castaño. Castaño hasn't been getting a lot of playing time. G- Got to see how he how, how he lines up against an elite team. I, I believe somebody said that. Yeah, my, my man Diego said that. We don't see we connected today. Um, trying to see, trying to see. He has not got playing time since he arrived in Russia. How is he going to react to that? We saw him in Cruz Azul. He wasn't getting playing time. He played with Colombia. They they gave him the ropes again. Can that happen again? Is he going to be informed? Lerma, I'm not worried about Lerma because Lerma, Lerma has been showing out. Um, we got Arias in the mix. How is uh, Nesto Lorenzo going to rotate those guys that we know should be playing? For example, Asprilla, balling out in Watford. He could play in the middle. He could play out wide. He, how, where, where is he going to fit? Sinisterra got injured, so there's nobody on the right side. Who takes that right side? Arias? And then bring James in the middle? But then what happens to Borre? Blah, blah, blah. Who's going to be our number nine? Borre, Cordoba, Casierra. I love all those questions. I'm excited to see what he, what he puts. And what would you guys, and that leads me to the next question. Andy, Okay. how do you line up? Man, I would like, I would, it's hard, man, because like you said we had, there's so much attacking talent in that midfield, which is what, basically what I think the team revolves around is trying to figure out who you're going to start in that midfield and then go from there. I mean, if you're asking me, you know I'm I'm starting with James in there. Listen, between between Quintero and Carrascal, like it's so hard to say like which one you would want to pair. Like the talent between all those players is absurd, man. It's which one gives you what you're looking for specifically. I would I would personally go with Carrascal, but like I, I can't between those three, it's I can't tough. Somebody man. going with Quintero in that moment, like and. And to me, it's up top, too. Like, if you're going to put Borre there, like, you have to have him in a position that is going to benefit him. If not, like, it's it's going to be nothing. So, 
I would say, yeah, it's tough, man. I would say, I would say James Carrascal, but you know, say, man, I, I don't feel, I don't feel too confident. Like not because of the talent level, just because we haven't seen it play out that way, which is a little bit tricky. Um, but everything else, I, like I said, I don't think there's going to be many surprises on what we see from that lineup. If you ask me how we line up, Camilo Vargas. Oh. What's your what's ask the me lineup? real quick? Yeah, ask me real quick. Ronald, Cam what's up? Talk to me, bro. Camilo Vargas in the back, Lukumi Cuesta center back pairing, Munoz on the right, left back, Defiende Dios, Marico Orquevich, Yo Mojica. <laughs> Mojica's another one like David Spina, como que we, I, don't, yo, I don't mind Mojica, bro. I don't mind Mojica, bro. bro. Don't mind Mojica, bro. He's just I so like direct. I don't mind. He him, just, man. You just yeah, see him. That's all he does. Put him, <laughs> puts his head down it. Bro, that's all I saw in Russia, bro. Literally. No, bro. Like, bro. That's 2018 my... Russia World Cup. That's all he did, bro. I like, mean, he's fast and he glides, bro. But then he gets all the way to the line. He steps on the ball. Brings it right yo, back. Hatred is a, is, a, is a strong word. But, like, my dislikeness, whatever, for no. Mojica started in no. in Russia, bro. Middle tronco, America. No. For that reason, I'm going with Fuentes. Whatever, throw him in the in the in the fire. See what he's made of. If not, then I don't know. Cavall, I'm gonna go with Cavall. Middle, Lerma Castaño, like Danny said. I'm like I'm really interested to see what Castaño can do uh, after not playing in Russia. Um, Hamis in the middle, ten classic ten spot. Lucho on the left, Joan Arias on the right, Casierra up top. I'm not mad at that lineup. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Um, and you guys comment who'd you guys who'd you who'd you guys start? I saw Jay Jay say he would start Vargas, Cavallo, Comicuesta, Muñoz, which that will be personally, that will be my starting four. I want to see Caval, big, tall, fast dude. Uh he wins uh the the balls in the air. Arias Larma Castaño. I'm not mad at that. I, I like that that uh trio, ese trio, ese trio Sacano. Y Diaz Cordova James. Diaz Cordova James. I like that. Um, I'm not mad at that. I, I'm confused. I will be confused because that means James on the right. And then you know, that's when we have a lot of, against like Spain, everyone's got to go up. Everyone's going to gotta come down. I don't know. I don't know how that would be. But Cordova, I want to see Cordova. I like, I like what Cordova showed out over there to, uh, against Brazil. I like what he showed. Um, as for me, Vargas, of course. And like I like uh, similar to uh, to Jay Cabal Lucumi Cuesta Muñoz. Um, I will start. I want to see Cabal. Um, he's been playing in Serie A. I want to see him over Mojica in the middle. Castaño Lerma. That's where I like. I think Arias is gonna go to the right. I will put Arias on the right, and that's where you have the question of those three guys: Carrascal Quintero. Uh, James, I would ideally put, as you, as you guys know, I was, I, as I was always said it, I would put Castaño Lerma Carrascal because I feel like Carrascal would be, it's a more dynamic, it would be a more balance in the back and forth. However, wait, I don't wait, think wait, wait, what happen. do you mean in the back and forth? It like he would, me amas entrega defensively than Quintero and James. Oh, no. My opinion. I, my for, opinion. My, my thing with Carrascal is. Es muy, muy loco a la hora de, de he could lose it. He could make, he, yeah. He, 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 could, he could lose it. He could lose it. I agree. I agree. I, 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 I'm not saying anything on that, but that would be my question. Um, if we put that Castaño Lerma Arias, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't mind it, but I wouldn't even put James on the right. I would put um, Yasser on the right. Then we could have a true number nine in the middle, kind of like, and then Lucho on the, on the left side. Cause what we've noticed is that Lucho could take a hold of that left side, but if he could have somebody doing work on the right, then it's over, bro. Then it will be like Liverpool. People always give back on, on Lucho like, hey, you don't show out on Colombia like you show out in Liverpool. Yeah, bro, but look who he has on Liverpool on the other side. You know what I mean? Like, it's not just him on one. It's not one dimensional, just Colombian attacking on that side. So, yeah, I, I, I would want to see either or. Uh, Casierra or Cordoba up top. Ideally, Cordoba. Pero el Desportivo Cali Casierra, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad. ¿Qué dice la gente? Casierra o Cordoba en el chat. O Borré. O James up top. Borre. Or, who, who, who do you guys want to see up top? 
Cucho, cucho. Ahora sí, Mateo Casierra en Cero Córdoba. Casierra es el top score de la Russian League. Facts. Yeah, but also Krasnodar is not playing that well. They haven't been. Hey, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the times that they have scored, it's been Cordoba scoring. I had to add that, you know what I'm saying? Let them cook. Let them cook. <laughs> Diego right. says, yeah. Si hay que soltar la bestia, bro. Ya, ya, ya se le ven en goals, assists for, for Watford, like. La bestia, pa. A ustedes verán. Ay, Dios. I mean, bro, I still, hey, Falcao, man, he's still my dude. I mean, I'm not going to play him, but that's my dude. And I won't call him up. Yeah. That's still my, no, I won't call him up or play him, but that's my dude. Like, speaking of, like, locker room guys, like, I'd rather have Falcao in, than uh, Ospina. Be. Do we miss yeah, anybody yeah. else? Do we miss anybody Dairo else? Moreno? Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just about Dairo to say Moreno. The, 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 the journalists in Colombia are really asking if Dairo Moreno deserves a call up, yo. Like, I need, I need us as a nation, as a collective, as as a people to stop, bro. Just that's it. Just stop. Sometimes you just gotta stop, man. Que falta de seriedad, bro. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. Bro, and having the the Once Caldas coach come out and, and ask yeah. publicly ask Nestor Lourdes to call him up. Relax. Y'all need to relax with that. I mean, at, at that point, bring Roda Llegas. Vamos la dupla. He's still scoring too for Santa Fe, no? Sí, sí, no, sí. but yeah. Yeah, man. It, it, it's exciting. I'm, I'm intrigued. We'll see tomorrow, 4 p.m. Um, aguanta, aguanta hacer un watch party through Discord or what? Oh. Le tiene, le tiene. Hay que llegar temprano para eso. Yo, Hay que llegar no temprano. Más. You gotta get there. It's like that's like a like a J Balvin uh, Jordan release, man. If you don't get there early to that, papi, perdieron. Sí, la par la parcita Stephanie siempre llega tarde, man. Sí. sí, pero aguanta. Yeah, we can watch it through Discord. What is it? Four, four, four yeah, thirty Eastern, 30. something like that. Four thirty Eastern. Yeah. yeah okay. Early, early for me over here. I'll probably probably be uh, stuck in traffic somewhere. <laughs> nah, nah, I'll be. I'm with it, man. I can't wait. Tengo uno mejor Ooh. ande. Anderson oh. Plata, Uish, qué pena, man. <laughs> eh, qué pena, qué pena. Saludos, sale la parcerita. Working from home tomorrow con el Guarum. Eso, eso no trabajé tanto, qué Rich. Pena. Por Dios. Sí, no, no, pues, yeah. Sele, cuando, uh, juega la sele, pa. Cuando juega la sele, ya no, ya. Cuando juega la sele, after 11 a.m., y'all ain't doing crap, bro. Don't lie. Even if it's a 7 p.m. game, like, you know what you're thinking. Rambi messaged me, like, yo, how you think we, did you see, how you think we gonna line up, blah, blah, blah. Like, we still be talking about it through the day. Like, it's hard, Friday, bro. Man. Tomorrow's Friday. Dude. And it's Friday. Yes. Colombia has to play in a minute. Eh, pero, pero, no es el after, pues. Indica, pues, eh, Andy. No oh, es el after. Pues, no, el after aquí va a ser muy temprano, güey. No hay que invitar a ustedes. Oh, a yeah. Termina hoy de San Estelado, yo. Yo, what do you, what do you guys think about uh, like score predictions? Hmm. I'm gonna go to three two. Wish. See, I would be happy about that because that means that there was actually like a game was played. Action. Like five goals, it's a game that was actually played and, and contested. I was thinking, I was thinking three as well. I was gonna say three one. I'll go three one. I'll go three one. I'm gonna say two one. Colombia? Yeah, Colombia. Yeah. Of course. Okay, say, uh, yeah. This is the this is the Shakira revenge game, but we gotta do it for our homegirl, man. We gotta, we gotta show up. <laughs> Facts. Facts. True. Now those games like in Spain are usually exciting, bro. It's usually oh, like two one. Good. Armero se comió a Piqué. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was like when was that? It was a while back ago. Yeah. yeah, bro. To be honest, the the game that I remember Spain was when Cuadrado like debuted. And he was he was a number four. That was the first time I ever saw Cuadrado. Man, he was killing it, bro. Shout out to the homie, man. He fell yeah. off, man. Que tiempos, Hope he's doing well, man. Gotta hit him up uh <laughs> You know, this weekend, see what he's up to. Yeah, hey, we gotta hit him up. We gotta hit him up. John Duran should have been called up instead of Carlos Gomez. I think we, we, we have enough strikers, man. Like, big number. But nine. even then, like, uh, you, you, you should have. I, I completely agree with that. I mean, Andy, that's that's more of, like, on your side of town, right? Uh, what, what's your thoughts about Carlos Gomez? I don't think he's deserving of the call up at all. I was actually very surprised to see him get called up in that spot. It might have just been somebody that was 
like a sh- like a short list of like okay yeah, this player is available at this time and let's let's do it um but if you're looking at mls once again and not even just position for position it would have been a no-brainer to me to call up pucho um who is literally closer to where they're going to be playing the soccer game than carlos gomez coming all the way from utah so I don't know. I don't. I don't think he. I think he's a good player, and I think he's he's shown a little bit of growth in the in the short time that he's been in MLS. I still think he has a long way to go in maturing, a long way to go in decision making, a long way to go in a few things. Um, but he's. I feel like he's going to be a good player. I just don't think for this time it was necessary. But he's probably going to paseito también, like like uh, Ospina. So who knows? Diego dice Duran has ways to go. He looks lost at times on the national team. Boy, when he comes in, he plays right wing. So. That's a thing, bro. He he goes in for Borre on the right. That's a problem, man. Like I think he. I mean, I like him though. Me recuerda like 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 an Asprilla type. Not necessarily just on speed and, and just physicality. Faustino. Yeah, and es 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 por España. Also, I don't know what Lorenzo was thinking about calling up Ian Poveda. He hasn't been doing anything. I mean, he was in camp against uh, the friendlies with Mexico and Venezuela back in November, December. So, I mean, Nestor had to see something in him to call him back up. He's good on the one-on-ones on the wings, man. I mean, he's always been on the radar on the national team. I don't think he's, like, just performed consistently enough in England to deserve that call-up. So, he's always had talent. You know what I'm thinking about? Like when when we look at this roster and then we think about Copa America, right? Like, is this it? Like, there has to be, you know, like this has to be. I feel like this has to be almost be the final, like springboard for certain players to be like, all right, this is gonna be a yes or a no after this these two games because it's gonna come down to it really quickly, man. And once again, I just don't feel confident that Lorenzo and coaching staff knows like what's the best 26 players that I have to to you know go to this tournament and also i mean like the tournament being here in the states is, is a big deal as well maybe that like that that's the one going back to Cucho again like maybe that's like a benefit to him like okay he's not gonna have to travel for copa america if it happens but like why is he not part of the process right now if he is gonna be part of the process later i gotta i gotta get to the bottom of that man i'm about to call him up yeah let's talk real quick because <laughs> for real bro like bro, it's I one mean, of those things that we don't understand i mean we know how well, we know how things are run in the back. That it's not run well um, in terms of agents, interests, certain groups putting in money for certain players and stuff like that. So we just got to navigate through that and hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I know what, you, I know what you're saying, bro. I know so. what you're saying. Yo, but did people say the score predictions, bro? I didn't get no type of score prediction yeah, for, for people, real. bro. Yeah. Diego, Poppy. Yeah, three one, three two, and two one over here. That's what we said, right? Yeah, three one. Three, Yo, Andy, you two. got a fade or something? My boy's been. I know my, my, my man's been going like this the yeah. whole time, bro. I'll tell you what yeah, I'm doing. I'm watching. I'm watching the U.S. about to lose to Jamaica. That's what I'm doing. I don't just speaking about games that like with with competition and things like that. Like the U.S. come. Bueno, eso, we'll say that for Gringos United. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm oh, man, you come into the Nations League and the U.S. thinks they're going to win every CONCACAF game. and They let up a goal the first 30 seconds of the game, and now it's about to be over, and it's still 1-0. Hey, 2-2. Two, two. Hey, muchachos, two, two. Pero I want to hear score prediction. Richard, si se ríe, mijo. Si, no, se está viendo solo. Está ahí el prediction. Ponga de serio, ponga de serio. Jay, también, I want to hear Steffi. Si tú estás por acá, Andrés, en el ESPE. Les de mí hablar, hombre. Mecaf, Mecaf. Que dice la gente. Que dice la gente. Nah, bro, I'm, I'm excited, though. I'm excited to finally see la selección. But we need that little spark. It's been a minute. I feel like it's been a minute since they, since they play. You know, ya respondió el viejo. Jay, da uno. Yo, yo nadie es corn. I believe it. He be corn. Da uno Colombia. Yeah, okay, okay. Everyone going with Ryan. Vamos positivos, okay. vamos positivos. Sí, positivos. Me gusta eso, parcero. Me gusta eso. I'm excited, bro. Copa América. I mean, there's so much soccer. It's like, this is like the start of everything ramping up. I see we got these two friendlies. Then we got the game against um, USA. Maybe another friendly before or after that. And then, you know, Copa América qualifiers. Hey, I'm scouting right now for the Columbia USA friendly, man. I'm trying to make sure I know what's going on so I could I could be ready for that. 
5 0. Hmm. Hey, there's a question. Speaking of, which, speaking of which, speaking of which, la pregunta de Richard Pardo es: What's the plan for Copa America? Hmm. Ron, what's the plan, bro? We're Open cooking, it up. We're cooking. Take it from okay. here. Take it from here, Ron. Take it Barcelos from here. United will be at every single Copa America match. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, Bobby. We're going to be Omar, Marel Parche, the itinerary. Three games. Places to watch games. games after places the games. Places to game The after parties. Sí. Eso es no más que Vamos a con restauranticos. Vamos a ver con restauranticos. We got people from Houston. Houston, Phoenix. San Francisco, Santa Clara, St. Mary, San Jose, all and that. Then, and then when we qualify, closer. Las Vegas, Charlotte, Miami. I want them. Colombia and Charlotte would be a movie, bro. You know how many Colombians there are in South Carolina, dog? Like, oh, did, did you make that trip to Charlotte? Oh, my goodness. Colombia and Charlotte would be a home game, 1,000%. Columbia oh, 1,000%. Our, our friend uh, Paola is there right now. Yeah. You remember uh, Paola? Oh, Paola, soy Marica Paola. Andy Rivers, me hallo. ¿Cómo se olvida uno, hermano? No, hombre. Shout out to the homie. She cool, she cool. Oh, shit. Richard Pardo. Ok, ok. Ok. Papi, nos vemos allá, de Juan. I'm in Miami. See you here. All right. If we get to the barn. Tienen que avisar. Tienen que avisar. See you in San Francisco. I'm excited. I'm excited. See you all, bro. California in the building. What up? Ahí nos tiramos la fotico. Chill. Sí, no, pero parceros, my okay. eso es lo que viene. Hey, and we got something else coming up in May, right, Ron? Right. Tenemos un viajecito a un lugar demasiado exótico con los parceros United. Cartagena, bro. Parceros United, we, we're taking it. The, the parceros United community de Cartagena. You guys check us out. Look, look for it on Instagram. Vamos a armando un parche muy bacano. We, we're doing a whole package, everything included. Es verán, es verán. I'll, I'll, I'll put the, the link in the in the <laughs> chat so you guys can check it out. Eso va a ser un parche, pero ish. Solo digo que ahorita tenemos más parceritas que parceros. Sí, parceros. bro. Las parceritas are coming through, bro. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I'm saying, bro. Andy, what are you at? Where are you at, bro? Yo mejor no opino hasta que se apaguen las cámaras, bro. No, chimba, yo voy a Cartagena, man. Come on, man. No, chimba. Y con los parceros, es un parche. Sí. Estar, en, estar en Colombia con estas dos figuras es un peligro, es un peligro. Eh, pero avise, Dani, avise. No, nada, salieron bien, salieron bien, salieron bien. No, pero no, parceros, yo creo que sí, yo creo que vamos a ver cómo va los, el partido mañana. Vamos a ver eh, qué pasa. And are you coming to Atlanta for the opener or what? Hell yeah, man, I already told you, I'm, I'm trying to make that happen, bro. That's, that's a fact. Oh, for real? Just gotta, get my, just gotta get my life right, but you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll, we'll talk, hey, talk about that. It'll be like that. But <laughs> yeah, bro, we, we're trying to cook up something for for um, Atlanta opener here. Like, we're already talking to people. Everyone's excited. I feel like the city is going to be insane, bro. The city alone is going to be insane, but the amount of people that are going to be coming in for that game, for Argentina game, it's going to be ridiculous, bro. So we're going to be cooking up something for that too, bro. So come through. Y los parceros que también quieren venir, avisen, avisen. Acá la armamos. We're based out of Atlanta, for those that don't know. It's gonna be a good, so a good summer of soccer, man. A lot, a lot of stuff going on. Sí, sí, sí. Bueno, <laughs> bueno, muchachos, I gotta go play. So I got a soccer game too. It's okay. You were saying score last minute. Did you watch it? Did you watch it, Andy? Did you see it or no? But I can't turn my head no more, so I'm not trying to react. No, I'm trying to do it, bro. I'm trying to show up the court. He's regañado, pues. He's regañado. Yo, this, that's how you prove that this whole time he wasn't even watching, bro. He was just showing us. Hey. You know, I'll tell you, I was watching and my feed went up, bro. I'm like, wow, this shit bro. Nah, bro. It's the biggest cap I've seen in my life, bro. I swear to God, bro. I'm looking at it like that. This thing is frozen right now, man. No, no, no. You all my head for no reason? Come on, bro. Pues es que se dañe streaming in the last minute bro i don't know no, that's, that's, that's always gonna happen you were like this the whole you were like this the yeah whole, 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 it was when they score that it goes down bro that's why I need yo, to score, man. yo my man's got red yo my reins got my man's got red and everything bro but shout out to I'm ns i'm saying shout I'm out to ns though down, i'm out here chilling we're yeah. doing it uh the the watch thing tomorrow what man what's the way See, they want. Armela, armela. Uh, armela. No, armela. 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 This is episode 32 with Andy. Andy, thank you for hopping on. Shout out to Andy again. Follow his uh his podcast. 
Kicking yeah, the real in, in the. Yeah. I'm waiting for the invite, bro. Still hasn't. Oh man, what's up? What's up, man? We got, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make Obviously. that happen. I think it before. I don't know if before Cartagena or before Copa America, but we talk, we talk offline about that. Too. Pregunte, pregunte. <laughs> no, so yeah. I'll tell you about a showed out that was active. Andres, Richard, El Diego, Diego, El Diego, Diego throwing shots. But hey, it's all good. It's all good. Ya vimos, ya vimos. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? La parcerita Steph y el viejo Jay. Yo, Jay was here at 7 p.m., bro. I'm telling you, he was ready. Shout out to Jay. Pero, parceros, la buena. We stay in touch. We got a lot of soccer coming up. A lot of things popping for the summer. Hablamos mañana. We'll see you, we'll see you in the Discord. Dale, muchachos. Nos vemos. Parceros. La buena. Hey, my fault, my fault.